Yeah, hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales Pirates of Beleriand. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the playthrough of War Tales Pirates of Beleriand where I'm trying to play on extreme and now expert difficulty and uh, see uh, how the new content looks like. For starters, we are being greeted by a pirate camp. The deer of Zorlin sent you. Oh, that... She attacked us first. In one night, she and her damn guard destroyed half of our fleet. Zorlin will pay for the deaths of our comrades. This farm is nothing compared to the terror that's about to rain down on that... Well, fantastic. We found a pirate's uh, holdout. So, might as well go in and uh, kick some pirate booty. Good, we landed. Got a couple of pugilists all over. Matter of fact, almost all of them seem to be pugilists. Holy. And... They will go very, very fast. So, might as well... Hit them whilst uh, they whilst they still are waiting to engage us. What is this guy? What character class is he? Outlaw. I like that brutish grapple. That seems to be a new <clears throat> spec. Dual wielding. I'm not seeing any skills that I know. He's an outlaw, so he's an ex wielder one hand. So instead of instead of a shield, you can get these grapple hooks. That's ultra cool. Good, but he still has 23% guard. Might as well take that away from him. Um, whilst he does have guard, applies fragility and. Yeah, we're sticking in the attack stance. Alright, so that, that'll deal extra damage against him. Could have been a bit better. Guard is being ignored from the back. I was hoping for a little bit more damage. I thought that uh, you, we could deal quite a bit of damage. But I guess, considering the amount of guard that he has, it is a lot of damage. We're going to get their assassin down. I need a different dagger. The poison dagger is good when you do have poison, but the base damage is too low for these assassinations. Everybody now is orderly. No, 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 no. Disengage. Oh, wow, we take a lot of damage. The Seafarer is actually quite strong. Good. I wanted to gather Valor. 
that was the easiest way of doing it, but I was hoping it would take less damage. Anyways. Alright, that was a rather weak hit. Now is the right time to test. So he shouldn't take any damage. Oh, nice. He does not take any damage. Well, that changes things quite dramatically. That changes things very much. Okay. Unlocked a new option. Oh, this is going to hurt, my friends. This is going to hurt. One, two, three, four, and yeah, I can't hit my own friend, so joke's on you, buddy. Nice, that was just sick. He stabilizes, hits, and we're good. Cool. That oil is worth every material that I put into it. Because now we don't have the problem of they are actually in a good position, but somehow we're out of position and it doesn't work. Now we can just mush through it. Heavy armor and a couple of fist weapons. We're going to get the perfect fist weapon in the arena, which is going to happen soon after we're doing uh, after we're doing this island. Okay, how invested is Noodle Keeper in his angler? Uh, angler. Hmm. Can we somehow? Can we somehow level him up quickly? No, I don't think so. Anyways, all of the others do have skills that are far more advanced well i guess theoretically we could gnome could switch around here we would be losing 23 experience which is not a lot i guess that's fine let's go a mistake good one moment he is the wood chopper and the next one he is the thief as a thief let's unlock that I... 
I thought I Because the other one we can't just unlock. But there is crew key. Mercenaries, thank you. Thank you for saving us. If you hadn't shown up. Oh, I, they kept saying we had to pay for what we'd done to their ships. That their comrades had been massacred on our Diga's orders. That there was nothing left of their fleet. But how? How could a tiny island like Zorlin do anything to them? Our whole garrison is just a handful of men. We could never have done something like that. I want to leave this accursed place. I can't stay here one second. Well, do we need to escort them? I think they are just going to escort themselves. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to fight bears. Well, we don't have to fight bears because now the pirates are pissed. Good. Yet another open massacre map. I think we're going for that crosshair over here. Good. I don't understand why we are now the bad guys. We have been attacked, by the way, first, and, well, but I guess aggressive people will never see that it's their problem. Um... Take away the guard, hit him so that it really hurts, and unfortunately we're going to take a bit of AoE damage. <coughs> Buccaneer here, it's pretty much a frontal assault from uh, their end. <laughs> nice hit. I'm not going to get caught up in the fight there. Unfortunately, the dagger does not deal enough damage. Like I said, we need to get a new one. It works incredibly well with uh, poison specs, but because it does have the unique ability to increase damage with poisoning, it unfortunately doesn't really work well for anything but that. Good. Getting orderly in. <clears throat> These guys are getting at each other. Ah, no, no, no. Now we would. Now we do have a problem. Three hits. Four into defense and we apply fragility okay 
we're definitely juggling our stances better, but he's higher level, so uh, that in itself is an issue. Kill. Followed up by some nice little bleeding. Followed up by not staying in melee, but still getting that. Oh wow, I was not in melee. disengage that's unfortunate but I do have an idea how we can disengage never mind no valor points that's a nice little hit here Breaking, taking quite a bit of damage once you once you um, break the engagement. We'll take this guy over. I didn't want Gnome to take so much damage that he essentially would pass out. He's dead already, he just doesn't know it yet. Still deals a lot of damage though. For finally going down. Good. Switching to aggressive stance. <laughs> that never gets old. Lots of damage, down to 9 hit points, and we're just going to eat a plant to heal ourselves. Good. Well, overall good fight, but I am a bit worried about kind of the positioning. We we're starting very near to the enemy. Heavy armor. I wonder is that any better than the one that we're wearing? 65 armor. Same guard, more critical damage. Not 
it's actually quite uh, decent. It is quite decent. What else do we have here? Heavy armor. Oh, that was the poison helmet. Yeah, we already decided against that one. This helmet, on the other hand, might be good. We need to do a. Uh, we need to do a bit of housekeeping once we're on our ship. Good. I'm not surprised that we're being attacked like 500 times. That small island. Seems to be a very hostile place. Well, I see you've saved the farmers all by... Hmm. Well, if all the pirates are dead, I suppose that's good enough. That is good enough, yeah. You held up your part of the deal. You're dismissed. What? The pirates were out for revenge. Revenge for what? Zorlin has been walking on eggshells for decades for fear of provoking them. We've never destroyed a single one of their boats. If something like that was within our power, I wouldn't have sent mercenaries to exterminate them. Though, and even if it were true, if their fleet had been massacred by some unknown force, well, uh, that creature, uh, god or monster, whatever it is, has my gratitude. Okay. So, Steel Ram. During sea combat, 20% of enemies on board start with imbalance. I like that. I like that a lot. Where is the steel ram? Down here. Wooden plank. Metal plate. Mm. That's a cool figurehead. We, I think we don't have a figurehead yet. And if we want to explore the island further, we certainly need uh, to put a bit of that stuff away. Because we're also nearing overload levels. We got metal plates, uh, we got wooden planks, so we might be able to actually afford that. So a lot of this stuff will be sold a little bit later. I would want to get more tools because that's really what we need. Cash loot uh, is left behind. And I think we're good. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can we actually build stuff? Because we might already have enough uh, to build that figurehead. Wooden plank, metal plate and sandstone. Well, let's figure out if we do have enough. The question will only be the sandstone. Metal plate, wooden plate, yes, sandstone, no. Uh, that falls under the category of close, but no cigar. Yeah, go cry yourself to sleep. We still have not 
discover the rest of the island. We just went in. Basically fought some goons. Good. Can we please start exploring the rest of the island? Thank you. So I think this here is an interesting path. Let's go to the center of the island. Found a bandit camp. Okay, cool. And with these islands, I think what I need to uh, change in thinking about them is really... You don't need to all explore them by foot. It's clear that you can surround them with your ship. Question is, how do I get up on this hill, though? So, for instance, that part here might be something that we, where we need to land with our ship. <clears throat> All right, yeah, this definitely looks like a place where you would land with your ship. What is unclear is how to get on uh, on that mount uh, onto that mountain. I'm not seeing any obvious ways up there but clearly you can get up there somehow maybe a cave maybe something else ah. good Next stop, I still want to do the arena. It's potentially not happening during this episode, but I <coughs> equally want to explore the rest of the island. So we don't know how to get up there yet. All of this here, there's another dock over there. That's definitely explorable. But I I must say this island certainly has the most ambushes of all of them. <clears throat> 